Well, the time has finally come. HP Tuners has released the remote data logging feature for the MPVI2, so stick around. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the garage, and it is before dawn. The sun's not even came up yesterday. HP Tuners finally came out with the remote data logging feature for the uh, MPVI2. This is the thing that a lot of us have been waiting for. This is the 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 icing on the cake. This is what makes the Pro feature set really powerful. Uh, you know, in the past, it's only been that it had the analog input support. Now they finally released the standalone data logging and if you go underneath the pro feature set there's a nice uh, user guide in here that you can come in and check out that that walks you through a lot of this stuff i'm going to go ahead and talk about everything that you need to do to get this set up and first and foremost we need to go into downloads and grab the latest version of the vcm suite beta you got to have the beta uh, because this feature is still in beta and then once we get that loaded up and installed let's go ahead and open it up and what you'll do is come underneath help and resync the interface. Even if you already have the pro feature set, you want to go ahead and resync the interface. If you don't have the pro feature set, you can buy it through HP Tuner's website. And then once you've purchased it through there that updates on the server side, you can resync the interface and the features will unlock for you. After we resync the interface, we want to come in under help and go to VCM suite information and then click this I. Now, if you have not updated the firmware like I already have, it will go ahead and update the firmware for you. And then what we're looking for here is to make sure that we're on firmware 314 or later, and that's what's gonna have our pro feature sets enabled. Now that that is all said and done, let's go ahead and I'm going to connect to the vehicle. I've got, a, I believe, an E38 hooked up on the bench uh, set over here. I'm gonna connect up and, well, I've got to turn the car on first. Let me flip that switch over there so we can actually connect. And now we can come in here and connect up. And like anything new, any new uh, release of the scanner software, things like that, I like to do a repull for support, uh, supported parameters, make sure any new parameters that may be added gets pulled in there. Uh, one of the key things that we want to look at is our channel list. It's important that this is the list that we are basically going to be loading into the device. And so set up everything that you want to read on this channel list. Then we can come into vehicle, MPVI2 data logging, and it's going to connect to our interface down here. We've got on the main uh, page right here, we've got a few things that we need to do. And one of them is we can read channel configs. By default, the channel configs are going to be erased in here. So we also need to be able to write them in there. So if we write, it's going to take our channel configs that we have loaded up right now and save them. The cool thing about it is, is we can actually do a read channel configs. And it's going to give us the option to pull the channel config data out of the MPVI2 and save it as a channel XML file that we can actually load up. So we can, you know, save this as an E38. That's what's loaded in there. Resync interface resources, not quite sure what that does. Uh, it goes through steps. It's, it's probably just making sure all the information is in place to be able to do the remote data logging. There's more information on the website, I'm sure. But what we want to focus on here is the start stop triggers. This is how we start our stop data logging. Gives us a couple options. Default, just short button presses of the Bluetooth button on the interface. Uh, but we can also set up some acceleration triggers, things like that. I'll be interested to see if they add some other things like RPM triggers for start triggers. We do have RPM triggers for stop triggers. Uh, but as I said, we're very early on in the beta for testing this stuff out. We've got some default stuff that they added on here for like streetcar, which is a pretty low acceleration reading. And then the MV, MPVI2 itself has an accelerometer in it that is doing these calculations. And then race car, a little more uh, acceleration stuff on there. But keep in mind, if your your dongle is not hooked directly into the OBD2 port, if you have it on uh, an extension cable or something like that, G is not how you're going to want to do this because that thing could be moving around and causing it to start and stop. So we're going to use it right now as user initiated. We're just going to use the button. And then we need to click the set triggers to load that into the device. And right now we don't have any log files on there. So we can go ahead and close this out. 
disconnect from the car. And the big thing on this is we'll go ahead and unplug our USB cable. Once the USB is plugged into a laptop or something like that, it's going to stop data logging. And then I'm going to power cycle the vehicle uh, and turn it back on just like we would. And let me see if I can get this kind of in frame here. I've got cables holding me up here. And here's our device. If we go ahead and hit the BT button. There we go. We are now data logging this ECM. And you will see the OBD2 light flash every once in a while. That means it's collecting data. So we'll do that for a little bit. Now I'll go ahead and hit the button again to stop data logging. And we can plug our interface back into our laptop like we just got done going out and getting a log. From here, we'll come back in underneath vehicle, go back into our data logging, and under the log files, we now have a log file that we can read in. And you have the option to read in all of them if you have multiple log files in there or just read selected. And it's going to prompt you to save it, so we'll go ahead and save this file. And now that we've got it saved on our hard drive, we're going to go ahead and erase it. So we uh, make sure and keep space cleared up on our device while we're doing this stuff. So we can come in here. Now we can find our log that we saved open it up and here's all of our data that we remotely data logged without having the laptop hooked up. So very straightforward, very easy to implement. Huge shout out to HP Tuners for getting this out. Everybody has been clamoring for this ever since the MPV i2 came out. This was the big differentiator from the first Pro version to the 2 that made the Pro version worth sticking around. Now that the 2 is out with uh, the data logging, standalone data logging features, there's absolutely no reason not to upgrade to the MPV i2. Uh, because you get a whole bunch of other features such as being able to access uh, ECM types that aren't supported on the older platforms, things like that. Neural network training, all that jazz. You're going to need the latest and greatest hardware out there. So I wanted to throw a quick video together, uh, you know, before I leave for work this morning to show you guys how to utilize this feature because I know a bunch of you have been waiting to check it out. Uh, I'll post some links down below over to HP Tuners, uh, over to the Pro Feature Set and things like that. So check the description if you have any questions. As always, you can leave comments if you like this content. Click that subscribe button, like, share this with other people, and you guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage, and remember, ABT, always be tuning.